Today, we're gonna to show you how to throw the scoop loop. It's one of the loops we did not discuss in some of our other videos. It's a great loop to throw. So uh, I, I personally use this more when something's moving. In our other drill, we kind of assume that for the most part, the animal is still, and in a lot of cases, the animal is not still. So this is a great loop to use when the animal is moving. You can shoot this from a lot of different places. Um, however, you're catching them from the top of the loop instead of the bottom. So when you do an overhand shot, there's a kitty cat, it goes through the bottom. Okay, this shot is actually gonna go through the top. So to get your mind used to that, seeing that, stand directly perpendicular to your target, and then just reach your hand out and put it on there, okay? Pretty simple, sometimes it's confusing. So when you throw this shot, you will want to make sure your loop is very vertical, okay? I'll demonstrate what not to do. So if I'm swinging horizontal, it's gonna be almost impossible to catch them with the top of this loop. Okay, so what I want to do is try to get my loop to be very vertical. Okay, now you can see I'm skipping the ground with my rope too. Uh, it's a lot easier to throw this on horse, but you will try to get your loop very, very vertical. I like to also have my palm like this as I go around. Okay, so start by just trying to get used to that swing. And as we go around, you're going to deliver this right at your hip. Okay, so when I come around, I'm going to deliver it straight here. What I want to do, just like every other shot, throw my elbow and follow through with my hand. So our setup, our swing, and then delivery just like every other video. So I'm going to swing, 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 and then pitch that out just like that. Now, notice it just kind of fell in a pile. A lot of that is me not doing a very good job with my swing. Okay, so I'll do it again. Just an average size loop. We'll talk about how you can maybe change your loop a little bit if you need to. Okay, swing, 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 deliver, okay, just like that. Now that you've thrown it the first time and understand kind of how it works, now we'll just kind of go through some things that'll give you some more success. Number one, usually this is being thrown while a critter is moving. So a bigger loop will help you, especially if you have some distance. Um, the other thing you can do too is lengthen your spoke. So typically a spoke is about a third of your loop size, maybe a little bit more. This guy, you kind of want to reach a little further. What that will do is keep this loop open as it delivers. So I'm gonna show you that from the side, but as you deliver, this loop is gonna kind of look like a slinky. Here it comes. You see that right there? So in some ways, this is kind of like a splitting the loop uh, delivery because you kind of hold the spoke a little bit, you more guide it. So with a bigger spoke and a big swing, and hopefully I don't hit that cat, I'm gonna to try to deliver this straight through there, just like that. Okay, so the reason why that one works so well is I had a nice vertical swing, I had a long spoke, and then my aim point was just straight through the shoulder. So that is that scoop loop right there. I'm just gonna show you quickly how you could use that same thing on the heel. So the same idea, trying to catch it with the top, this would be when you're over here, it's hard to get a good swing for a heel shot. You can do a couple other swings. We're gonna show you a video of that too, but you can use that same scoop swing to push that underneath. Now this tall grass makes that really hard, but the same idea can catch the head and can catch the feet. So that's the scoop loop. We use it a lot. It's really great. If you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Star of Cowboy channel.